What's up guys, Kyle here, back from the Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapon Guide and today I'll be talking to you guys about the Doll Legendary Assault Rifle, the Star Helix. This weapon uh, can be obtained through any randable, uh, randable? <laughs> any suitable random loot source but uh, uh, is also uh, a higher increased chance to drop from the Power Troopers located in Atlas HQ on Promethea. Uh, the special effect in this weapon is it fires two additional projectiles that will follow the main projectile in a horizontal oscillating path. Um, so get the most out of this weapon guys you want to kind of cl be close range with your enemy um, so you don't have to worry about uh, missing your shots as much it's kind of something similar to the dictator uh, the red text in this weapon reads the stars are better off without us and um, yeah I believe this weapon can come in every uh, element as well so uh, in my experience it's been a pretty good assault rifle to use and uh, yeah I'll just show you the combat test so guys, I'm on Athenus right now on Mayhem 4, and uh, so there's no negative or positive modifiers affecting the weapon right now. It's a nice neutral test, and you can see here just kind of uh, a nice, I guess, neutral environment to test the weapon out in. And you can see here by the gameplay, it is a fairly, fairly good weapon, does fairly good damage. I have prone to reloading uh, very often, so I'm sorry about that if you see me reloading constantly. Um, you can see up against these badass heavies. I kind of struggle a little bit, but um, it's all about finding the sweet spot with this weapon and trying to get behind them and uh, hit the crits. You can see there I took them out pretty easily once I, I was able to hit the crit. Um, so yeah, we're just moving through this area here. Um, again, this is another video of me showcasing my Amara. I finally got her to level 50, so I was happy, or 53 now with the new cap. Um, I was happy to show her off, and um, yeah, um, hopefully I'll be working on my Zane now, trying to get him up. Um, but yeah, like I'm moving through here, it's fine, it's, it's a nice gun, it handles well. Uh, the scope on it was really nice, I enjoyed that. Um, I think it'll always come in full auto though, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's a feature of it too. Um, just taking out these guys here. I felt hip firing actually felt very responsive and very accurate. Like um, I felt like I didn't need to aim in with this weapon, I felt the hip fire was enough. Uh, so yeah, I got she went down here, um, sadly, but I think I managed to get up pretty easily with this nog. And, uh, I usually have trouble with Nog, so I'm a fan of this weapon if it kills them quickly. Uh, moving on here, just taking them out, and oh, he puts up a shield. <laughs> and we actually managed to break through the shield there. So. Face slam here. We're actually nearly at ammo here. And we run out. So basically, I'm just going to finish this guy off. Uh, try and get some ammo here. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I've shown enough of this weapon. Uh, I believe I run out of ammo here pretty, pretty much now, and I have to like finish them off with my pistol. So guys, I'm going to cut away to the weapon overview. I hope you got a kind of sense of what this uh, weapon is like, and I recommend getting one. So then guys, the Star Helix. I think this is a really good assault rifle. I don't think it's a boss killer or anything like that, but I think it's really fun to use for general mobbing. Uh, I think you can get a lot of use out of it. It's a cool gun, it feels nice to use, like handling wise. Uh, it has a pretty decent reload, uh, decent damage, and I guess it's cool uh, legendary effect. It's kind of something similar to the Dictator, so it's, uh, it's a pretty cool one. Um, you can kind of always know where you need to be to uh, shoot this weapon, you just gotta get up close with the hip fire pattern and uh, aim for the crits and it's pretty pretty similar to the dictator like I said um, but yeah that's pretty much been the star helix guys, I'd give this weapon like I think a 7, 7 out of 10 is a pretty solid amount, it gets stuff killed and it's fun to use um, again it's uh, obtained randomly through any suitable loot source but has a, a higher chance to drop from the power troopers located at Atlas HQ on Promethea so guys if you want to get this gun Maybe try the power troopers, it might be an easier farm, or maybe try farming your general bosses, and hopefully it might drop. Uh, so guys, that's been all for me uh, today with the Star Helix, and uh, yeah, I thanks very much for watching, I really appreciate all the support in the videos, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye!